now we're gonna play hide and search. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Stacy, and this is Astro. It's been getting cold here. We're finally reaching 20 degrees in Fahrenheit. Every morning I take Astro out to go potty in our morning walk. It's been about 25 degrees, which is really cold for me. I don't do well in the cold. Astro probably loves all of the cold because of how fluffy he is and how much hair he has. There are just some days where you just want to stay inside, stay cozied up under your blanket, and your dog is still driving you nuts because they're bored and they have so much energy. Here are some indoor activities that you can do with your dog to help release some of that anxiety. This oh, Astro just moved my camera. Here are some indoor activities that you can do with your dog to help ease their boredom, their anxiety, and the excess energy levels that they have. I do these with Astro and he seems to really enjoy these games and he seems to be pooped out after doing some of these activities with him. Hey, thank you all so much for subscribing. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I will be filming a Q&A in December. I'm still collecting all the questions so if you have any additional questions and you would love to be added to the Q&A, please comment your questions down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. With these games, you are more than welcome to use any type of treat that your dog loves. I'm personally going to be using the Trader Joe's Salmon Treats. Astro is playing behind there. I don't know if you can hear him. He's actually humping his bed. I dehydrated some chicken hearts for these indoor activities. The first indoor activity that you can do with your dog and truly bond with your dog is the touch game. You will ask your dog to touch the target. In most cases, I just use my hand as my target. So I'll use the command touch. And whenever he touches my hand, I will throw a treat on the other side of the room. He's moving around. We still wanna meet those physical and mental needs. And he's going to have to touch my hand again to get another treat. To make this more interesting, you can move yourself, move the target around. To The second indoor activity that I love to do with Astro are some scent work games. Astro definitely depends on his eyes a lot more than he does with his nose. So I like to incorporate some scent work games into our daily routine just so that he gets his sniffer moving around. It's really important to get your dog's sniffer working. I mean, that's what they're meant to do. Their noses are definitely a lot stronger than ours. So it's important for you to allow your dog to use their nose and mentally tire them out. I will place small treats around the house and this will encourage Astro to really use his nose and find the yummy treats. So I will put Astro on his PLACE command. I will strategically place treats all around the house. You can make the game as easy or as hard as you want. If your dog is a beginner to scent work activities, I would definitely recommend hiding it in easier spaces to find rather than like the nooks and crannies of your apartment. But Astro is pretty used to this game, so I put them in harder spots to find and watch him use his nose. I love hearing his sniffer go off when he's finding treats. It's just the cutest noise ever. Hey Astro. Hey Astro. Place. Good place. Now we're gonna play hide and search. Over here. 
watching me hide all of them, aren't you? Over here. He's totally watching me. He's remembering each place. In the corner. There. Free! Find it! Well, that one was easy for him. Astro Place. Good place. Right here. Right here. Oh, she I like to pretend that I'm putting it here because he's watching me right now. I'm running out of spaces to put them. Free, find it. He always misses that Another activity that you can do with your dog is just a short five minute training session, whether you're teaching your dog something new or going back to the basics and foundations of dog training. You wanna work on your sits, your downs, your healing position. If you wanna teach something new, I am currently working on teaching Astro to clean up after himself. I don't know if you've seen in my other videos, there are toys lying around the house all the time with the fuzz. I'm honestly tired of picking up his toys every single day and cleaning up the fuzz. So I'm finally teaching Astro how to clean up his toys and put it back into the basket. This is great for retrievals as well. Astro is definitely learning how to pick items and hand them to me. Sit. probably seen this all over social media but another thing that you can do is scatter some treats in an old towel or one of their blankets and roll it up he has to use his nose to find the treats in the towels he also has to use his mouth to unravel the towel this will probably take your dog like five to ten minutes find it Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, oh. 
Those are really fun activities that you can do with your dog. You're bringing enrichment into their life instead of just laying around and sleeping all day. These are just short activities that you can do with your dog and truly grow and bond with your dog. These indoor activities are suitable for all ages, whether it's a puppy or a middle-aged dog or an elderly senior dog. All of these games are super fun for them, so you should definitely give it a try. If you try out these games, please let me know how it goes or if you want to tag me on Instagram. Instagram. These are such great activities to grow a strong bond with your dog, keeps them less bored, keeps them less anxious and happier as well. Drop. Good. Yes. Sorry, am I not allowed to film you? Sorry. I'll back up. Yours? made it to the end you are truly amazing thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any video requests please let me know I'd be more than happy to make those videos for you we love you so much and we will see you next week bye I'm gonna get ya oh <gasps> Ha, ha, ha.